Now let us understand the law of conservation of mass. From the word itself, conservation of mass, mass is conserved, mass remains the same. The mass will not go into change. This law states that matter can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can be converted from one form to another. So matter we already know there are three states of matter liquid, solid and gas. So these forms of the matter can be changed but matter will neither be created nor be destroyed. Let's take the example with an equation. There are two reactants A and B. Reactant A having four atoms of its own. Reactant B having four atoms of its own. Now they react together. And they form a completely new product that is AB. Which is a combination of A reactant and B reactant. If we try to count the number of the atoms in reactants and products. It will be four atoms of A plus four atoms of B. So total atoms will be 8 atoms in reactants and over here 1, 2, 3, 4 atoms of A and 4 atoms of B. Total here also 8 atoms. So we can say according to this law there will be no loss or gain of the atoms in the chemical reaction. The number of atoms in the reactants remains the same as in the products. Just in the products, there will be a rearrangement of the atoms to give a new product, keeping the total number of the atoms the same. So, we can say the mass of the reactants equals to the mass of the product. If mass of the reactants is x grams, then mass of the products will also be x grams. If mass of the reactants is 20 grams. Mass of the products will also be 20 grams. The mass will be conserved. Again I will repeat. The law of conservation of matter says that the amount of matter remains the same of reactant and products even when matter changes its form. The weight after the reaction will be exactly the same as the weight before the reaction. reaction. That's why it is said the amount of mass is conserved. Let's check whether this equation is in accordance with the law of conservation of mass or not. Means I will be checking mass of the reactants and the mass of the products. If the mass of the reactant is equal to mass of the product then this whole equation will be in accordance with the law of conservation of mass. So for that first we need to write the complete balanced equation and then to calculate the mass of the reactants and mass of the products we need to use the atomic weight. Now, atomic weight of hydrogen is 1. But here we can see there are H2, means 2 atoms of hydrogen. So, 1 into 2 in bracket and 2 will be outside the bracket because this is showing 2 molecules of hydrogen. Plus, this is 1 molecule of oxygen but it has, oxygen molecule has 2 atoms. So, 2 atoms into 16. 16 is the atomic weight for the one atom. Now, in the product side, we will put the atomic weight of hydrogen. It will be hydrogen. It is 2 atoms of hydrogen. So, 2 into 1 plus 1 atom of oxygen. Atomic weight of oxygen is 16. Whole 2 outside bracket 2 because it is showing 2 molecules of water. Now let's calculate. First we will be calculating the bracket part as per the board mass rule. 
so 2 into 1 into 2 is 2 plus plus sign will come here now 2 into 16 is 32 over here in the product side calculate the bracket part I'll put 2 here into bracket is 2 plus 16 2 plus 16 it will be 2 plus 16 or we can write 2 into 18 here mass of the reactant will be 2 into 2 4 plus 32 it will come 36 so mass of the reactant is 36 and here 2 into 18 is also 36 so this is mass of the mass of reactants mass of reactant is 36 and mass of product also 36 hence this reaction is in accordance with the law of conservation of mass because mass of reactant is equal to the mass of the product now let's solve one question when 4.2 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate is added to a solution of hydrochloric acid weighing 10 grams it is observed that 2.2 grams of carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere the residue left behind is found to weigh 12 grams show that these observations are in agreement with the law of conservation of mass so here what we need to do we need to first frame the chemical equation and then we need to find the mass of the reactant and mass of the products and check it whether they are equal or not okay let's frame the chemical equation now 4.2 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate is added to solution of hydrochloric acid weighing 10 grams so the reaction is sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate plus HCl is releasing after reaction it will get sodium chloride NaCl plus water plus CO2 okay this is a balance equation now just yes, let's check the mass of reactants mass of the reactants are mass of sodium bicarbonate plus mass of hydrochloric acid what is given sodium bicarbonate is 4.2 grams plus hydrochloric acid is 10 grams so what is the total 4.2 plus 10 grams it will be 14.2 grams of reactants 14.2 grams of reactants are there in the reaction now let's find mass of products mass of products they are saying 2.2 grams of carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere so mass of carbon dioxide and the residue left behind is found to weigh 12 gram 12 grams plus what is left now as a residue sodium chloride and water so mass of NaCl plus water okay is equal to mass of CO2 is 2.2 grams 
given and residue is 12 grams. Add them together 2.2 grams plus 12 grams you will get 14.2 grams of mass of the products. See mass of reactants equal to 14.2 grams and mass of products is equal to 14.2 grams. Hence both the masses are equal. It follows the law of conservation of mass or you can say law of conservation of mass is valid in this reaction. So let's understand the second question. Show that the chemical reaction in which magnesium burns with a dazzling white light to form magnesium oxide is in accordance with law of conservation of mass. So we need to write the equation and find that the mass of the reactant is equal to the mass of the product or not. Atomic weight of magnesium is 24 and oxygen is 16. Let's frame the chemical reaction. Magnesium is burning in oxygen Mg plus O2 will give magnesium oxide. Now first we have to balance the equation. Here oxygen 2 atoms so I will make I will write here 2 now 2 Mg and 2 O. On over here only one magnesium atom so I will make it 2 here. So 2 Mg plus O2 gives 2 MgO, 2 molecules of magnesium oxide. Now, these are the reactants and this is our product. Mass of reactant equals to 2 mg plus O2 which will be twice of atomic weight of mag magnesium 24 plus oxygen is 16 and here oxygen there are two atoms so 2 into 16 so here it will be 848 plus 32 it will be now 48 plus 32 80 grams mass of the reactants now let's check for the mass of product mass of the product equals to 2 mgo twice of mgo mg is 24 plus 2 of oxygen right so oxygen is 16 now calculate the bracket part first 2 into 40 here so 2 into 40 it will be 80 grams so here we can see that mass of the reactants is equal to 80 grams mass of the product is equal to 80 grams so both the masses are equal, mass is neither created nor lost. Thus we can write law of conservation of mass is valid. Children, hope everything is clear to you. So at the end, I am giving you few questions. Please solve them. Thank you. Have a good day.